and on to the man of the world finance assassin episode 2 yeah woo so ladies and gentlemen yes i can confirm to you guys i'll be reacting to this for the rest of the season yeah oh my god man the first episode i absolutely loved it man and you can say the main reason is because we get to see some badass sidekicks man especially the fact that it's three girls and one boy i mean of course you can tell it's a harem but dude this harem i feel like they're gonna be one of the best team to go to assassinate the hero apparently that's the plot twist of the story that they he's been re reincarnated to assassinate the hero although i feel like there's a bit of a plot twist to the part that he had to assassinate the hero maybe the hero did something bad that's why he needs to reincarnate into the world to kill him or something like that but we shall see man but still man i can't wait to see chad lu being so badass in the world of course we know he, in the previous life he was one of the best world assassin he's an old man by the way so you can say this time he had more mature mindset going to the new world of course so i can't wait to see how you apply his you no know, kept memories into the new world where he have a lot of experience how he you know view the world now and how maybe we can see some character development for him too you know maybe if he falls in love too because we do we can see from the first episode he's not that type of guy to fall in love so oh my god i can't wait to check out this series where he know he's gonna be a little boy and try to work his way up especially the fact that he can have this sort of mushoku sensei vibe to it too so oh my god i can't wait to see how he's gonna formulate his relationship with the three girls of course that is the one thing i'm really excited to see and do it i can't wait for today's episode so with that said let's get started reaction because i want to see how chad lu gonna go about to you know pursue his new life Okay, we should and let's get started, shall we? So we're watching on Muse Asia and let's just see how episode two goes. I'm pretty sure it will be more of an introductory to him to the new world, I guess. So here we go in six, five, four, three, two, one. Haji Man Marshall! World's best assassin. Oh, she's the world's finest assassin. Well, wherever it works, I guess. Deal of reincarnation. So basically, this episode you can see him like trying to adapt to the world he's been reincarnated in. I guess. Mm -hmm. I gotta say though, it's quite refreshing to see the main character with the memory intact. He's an old man rather than your typical like young man. I guess. Yeah, it seems like the goddess is quite sussy to me though. I gotta say the goddess is like so sussy, man. Like she just wanted to re he just reincarnated to assassinate the hero without. Say much. Maybe this is where she explained in details. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean that's good, right? Your memories and personality is intact. That means you can be very mature for a child. <laughs> wow, RPG been mentioned. Like this god doesn't know her stuff, man. That's a game. That's a weep. Mm-hmm. Besides. Uh-huh. Emotions. Oh, of course, man. I live to kill. So that means when he was born to a new world, he would start killing people or something. That should be good, I guess. Oh, really now? You regretted it. He regretted killing now. Alright, okay. If we live for myself. Yay, let's go. Live for myself. Okay, so it seems like he learned a bit from the air crash. So, is that character development or something? Okay. Yeah, fantasy world. Of course, it has to be a fantasy world. Assassinate the hero. <laughs> uh -huh. So, 18 years though is a deadline. If you don't do it, you die again, something. Uh huh. So basically, the world then is gonna be quite advanced or something like that. Okay, interesting. Uh huh. So basically, he's been reincarnated into a body with a you no know, really good power already. Isn't that a bit too OP for him already? Since he has skill and knowledge already. Wait, what? Okay, 16 years old. He'll kill a demon lord. I knew it! Bring the world to chaos. Okay, now I understand why she asked him to kill the hero. 
So that hero caused the end of the world in that fantasy world. Wow, I mean, that sounds a bit too good to be true, though, but. Uh, I guess he's the hero for a reason, I guess. Mm hmm. Yeah, basically. With human capabilities, and not so you're a naive magician, but assassin. Yep. So basically, she chose it because she has the skill to do it. Not no one can in the world. <laughs> Sickle psycho, the assassin. Well, hopefully it goes well, I guess. Oh my god, dude. I give you the biggest, the highest stats possible. Lamau. Huh? Right, okay. All five? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, this guy is gonna be OP. To super OP, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess so. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. I like the how they go to clo go closer closer to a body with that effect though. But yeah. This goddess though, I'm still I gotta say, she's quite sus, man. She's still quite sus to me. Oh really now? Okay. Well yeah, you think about it, the demon lord can destroy the world, so. So make sure the hero kill the demon lord, then you kill him. That's so specific though. Uh-huh. So basically he had to find another way to avoid killing hero. Maybe he should be the one to kill the demon lord then. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. There's so many skill cards though. Yeah, I know, right? You have to choose. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can, you can have all of them if you want, but you have to choose five only. Uh huh. Yeah, seems like you have to pick wisely. Mm -hmm. Five skills are. Okay. I mean, why do you not choose a skill that suits your super recovery? Ah, oh, that works, I guess. So he wants healing powers. I mean, of course, you know, it's that need to be uh, all healthy and stuff. So he has healing powers. Uh huh. Hmm. Dance Weaver. Oh, hey, that works, I guess. Hey, and he used that to learn new magics. That that's actually very effective. Wow, he's being he's been very uh, careful with his choice, man. I expect nothing less from like assassin, good assassin, gross limit breaker. Mm -hmm. Wow, I mean that was actually like really good, actually. Mm -hmm. That's good, actually. Mm hmm. Martial art. Of course, that's a sassy need to fighting skills to defend yourself. Oh, dude, this guy, he, he knows his shit, man. He knows his shit. Uh, mm hmm. Mm hmm. What's the final skill? Magic Finity. Oh, so back he here, able to master the elements. Oh, okay. That's good, I guess. Dude, that's like some good skills he got there. Wow. Okay, he's gonna be OP, man. This guy's gonna be OP. And with his knowledge and experience too. Dude, this guy's gonna be OP. He's like, hell, man. Mm hmm He has recovery so that, you know, if he messed up on the magic, he can recover from it. Oh my god, dude. This guy knows his stuff, man. Oh, so good. That is some good selection. Like, he, think, he, was, he thinks about it.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know he knows his way around the skills. He knows what he chose with to suit his like fighting style and his needs. Dude, that is just so amazing, man. You get to choose your skill, yo, know, how you've been born, and, and how your stats could be like. Wait. What's the fam The family name is like weird, though. The family name is like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, okay. No Etchy, the mom. <laughs> Dude, this is so amazing, man. He actually gets to choose how to, like, get become such an OP character in the Isekai world. You don't see this a lot in a lot of isekai animes where you do, the main protagonist gets to choose his skill. Uh huh. Okay. I to be reincarnated with his, with some ex with good experience, with good stats, and most importantly, um, quite look good looking, I guess. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Oh, being born. Holy shit. He actually gets to see himself being born. Oh my god, dude. That must be rough, man. It's a boy. Of course it's a boy. Dude, he actually saw through the process of being birthed, go through the mom's uterus. Like, oh my god. Lou. That is, is a very interesting name, I gotta say. My successor. Okay. Is his father some sort of special rank or something? Oh! Wait, what? So his family's an assassin? Dude, that fits him really well! Wow! The goddess isn't lying though, he gets to live in a family that is really well off, for, that is really suit his you know, background. It seems like they also lost a child before, so maybe he's not gonna let this one loose. Yep, there we go. So, it seems like he's gonna, he's gonna make sure Lu is raised into a fine assassin, like the father. Oh my god, now this is some good stuff, man. This is some good stuff, man. So he's basically been reincarnated to do the back his basically his speciality. That's like the best man. Like oh my god, he know that he can ace the training. Then he has to he, remember he has his memories and personality. And time flies, so we have a time jump. Okay. Well, there we go. This is seven years. Wow, time time flies so quickly. Uh huh. So he needs to learn magic. Okay, sure. That sounds easy said and done, though. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow, he's being very careful with how he killed a rabbit. Oh, headshot! Nice one. Nice one. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, sit down, mom. You, you're bad at cooking or something. <laughs> yeah, no, right? So, I guess the mom's not good cooking. <laughs> oh my god, the mom, man. I'm liking her already. <laughs> I mean, he had to maximize his skill set, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course, eat well too, so that can grow properly. <laughs> and carrots! Oh, he's eating his veggies too. Yo, look at him go, man. Gordon Ramsay will hire him immediately. 
Dude, he's knowing his shit. He knows what to do to become strong, man. And that comes with nutrition too. Oh my god, this guy, man. Of course, experience. Like I said. Uh huh. Okay. And. Uh, I mean, of course, it's smart. He has his memories and personality from the of his oldest self. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, oh! Disguise the cooking. Ah, oh, of course, man. Of course, kill people through food <laughs> for poison. This guy knows his stuff, man. I'm liking this already. At least he explained through his thinking process. Mm -hmm. I mean, that looks like chowder, though. Okay. That's chowder, right? Wow. Oh, I see. Oh, no, that's stew. Okay. I mean, he is a Tensai. I mean, he's making steel from his world. <laughs> oh my god. Uh huh. Wow, they're naming the steel out from his. Wow. <laughs> Damn. They're like so like um they spoil him so much man. Their family is like so protective of him and so caring. I like it though. It's not at least they're like very supportive. Mm hmm They're more. Because you're eating with people. It food tastes better when you eat with people. So it's the same thing you're saying. Okay, so training time. So, what are they doing? It's Assassin. What do you expect? We, we, we mentioned already. So, what's his training? Some sort of like... Secret fight or something? Okay. What are they doing? Um, okay. Why is he naked? What's going on? First form. Oh wait, what? Um. Okay. Why is what is he doing? Is he doing yoga naked? Um. Uh, right. Is he like monitoring his pro his progress? Wait. So he's monitoring his development. Right. Okay. That's just like. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Wow. Okay. Isn't that a bit too invasive? But okay. Maybe he's just like seeing how much he has developed so that he know what to do next. Mm -hmm. So basically, assassin working for the royals. Sure. I mean, at least the father is assassin, so he can teach him some new skills, I guess. Hey! Oh, yes! Yeah! This like the father is, is a deep badass, man. His father's teaching medical skills, too. Like, dude, his father's so good. Like, he's good at everything. Uh huh. I mean, of course, man. The family is well known for that, so at least you learn like so many stuff, new stuff too. Hmm? Uh -huh. Surgery? Wait, what? He's getting surgery? For the magic eyes? 
Oh my god, he's getting magic eyes? Like, what? Okay. Dude, is he, the father's gonna make him even more OP. Uh-huh. Dude, that's just amazing, man. He's the best weapon. I mean, it can't make sense though. Like last, like last episode, we sort of used the eye to kill the target. So, yeah. So he's been given, and of course, with his recovery ability, too, he can heal quickly from his surgery. There, ah, there we go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my i mean of course he didn't rely on you he's mature enough not to rely on you anymore what no no don't dude this mom man hey what the <laughs> oh my god what mom man seriously what a mom. <laughs> How do you know where to go though? With the eyes closed. Oh my, okay, so he knows the layout of the estate already. Dude, this... See? Adaptation quite quickly, man. I mean, what to expect? He's mature enough to learn so quickly and able to adapt quickly too. <laughs> Dude, this family is making me even more OP. So, how much can you see? Hey, wow, look at the vast land, man. Mm hmm. Hey, there we go. You can use that. Uh, you can use that power to like assassinate people from using a gun. I guess if this gun exists in this world, of course. Dude, that's amazing skills, man. Mm hmm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. dude. Dude, this is this is so amazing skills, man. Huh? Uh, what do you want? Oh, a magic teacher. Okay. Is he a magic teacher? Dude, this is almost like Mushek Mushoku Tensei then. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> what? What? Oh my. oh my. Why? Why, mom? Why? Why? <laughs> I got a page. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, why? Is this how you're supposed to treat your uh, Maho Sensei? Huh? There's more? Oh my god, there's more. La Mau. So who's the sensei? Wait, is it she? Hold on. Wait, wasn't isn't she the one from last episode? Um, okay. Wait, isn't she the psychic? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, you underestimated him, man. You underestimated him. Yeah, he's the 10th side, just like you. What, she gonna get jealous? She gonna get jealous. 
<laughs> no. Oh, ho, 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 yo. Wow. Damn. Holy shit. This girl means business, man. Uh huh. Dude. So, this is how they met. Magic of Bonds. Wow, wow, what an episode, man. Dude, this episode is so good, man. Like, it's, you thought last episode was good already, but this episode is also really good because you actually get to see how he, Lou, went to, Lou went through the process of adapting to the world. And not just that, though. He actually met his magic sen magical sensei, magic sensei, as a child. And, they, and according to, maybe according to the title for next episode, Magic of Bonds, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting those two to stop falling in love or maybe, you know, the magic center or maybe she will want be the one to fall in love with him. Dia. Dia Ko. I'll just call it Dia. So, yeah. So, it seems like the fact that we're going to see how those two become, a, you know, how those two develop their relationship and then, you know, through through time, she'll fall in love with Lou. Lou will ask her to be his sidekick or something. Maybe fiance, maybe. We should see. But... Yeah, so it seems like next episode we're going to see how she trained Lou, how she trained Lou to become a good magic user. I mean, knowing that he has the, the D rank skill though, able to like um, learn magic easily, he, he, will, he will surprise her, man. He will surprise her with, with how fast he learned, especially the fact that he's quite OP himself. He has the mature mindset. He can like learn things quickly too. You can see from this episode that he's really mature for a seven years old because, you know, like I said, he kept his personality and memories from his real world, which is, you know, he's an old man, by the way, 40 plus years experience. So yeah, I gotta say though, this is actually really some good stuff. We actually get to see Lou not overdoing himself, but trying to take it one at a time, trying to impress the family and trying to do accordingly to the, what the father says. And of course, the father though, like, oh my God, dude, the father is a, an assassin, man. So it seems like he's been reincarnated into a family that can support him with his upbringing to kill the hero. Like if you got reincarnated him to like, I don't know, maybe like, um, an orphanage or something, he will not have the skill set to kill the hero, but being reincarnated into a specific family with, with a strong heritage of being good assassins. Dude, he has the skill set, man, He's ready to kill. And of course, he has the now the, the mystic eye or something that can help him out with the attack too, like we saw from last episode. And of course, the magic sensei able to come and teach him magic too. And the fact that, you know, he actually learned many stuff from the father, and of course, the father teaching all the skill uh, of, you know, being such a a skill killer in the world, the royal assassin for the royalty, of course. So, oh wow! And he and to make things even more interesting, that he actually takes interest in nutrition. Nutrition. How often do you see isekai protagonists talk about nutrition? So how they grow into a, being like a OP a, um, a protagonist or something, something like that. Just wow. That is some good stuff, man. Like you tackle nutrition, that shows the level of detail they had to go to get to that stage of life, man. Like becoming strong, of course. So I mean, what's even more impressed me even more is that he actually get to choose skills from A from S to D. I mean, he's been you can see that he's actually been very careful with his choice. Like he's choosing the skills that can benefit him as like an assassin rather than just choosing random skills that like, oh this looks really badass, I'll choose that one. No. He chooses the one that suits his you know, um, skill set really well. He chooses the skill that uh, benefit him you know, during, to kill the hero. So, oh my god, now that is some good... You can see that he, he's, you know, when more with age, when, when age comes, you come with experience and knowledge. But that's why you can, I'm really impressed with this episode. You get to see how he went through the process of becoming strong and stuff like that. So next episode, we're going to see some interesting um, development between you know Dia and Lou, of course. So looking forward to that indeed. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Smash the like button and I'll see you guys next time.